Hello and welcome to another fun-filled edition of Steam Team Quizzes, where we're about halfway into Season 8, and I think I'm enjoying it quite well. All except that bloody roll call song. If I hear it one more time, I'm going to flip. Seriously. Calico, no, sorry, sorry, my, my, my finger slipped. I hit the button, honestly. Ow! Oh. Now, with that out of the way, let me tell you what's coming up in today's show. So, Thomas gets it right. I suppose that's the first time for everything. Uh, then we cheer, You can do it, Toby! Then we have a very naive Percy. Well, not any no more naive than usual. Uh, he's given a magic carpet to deliver. Ooh. And after that, a circus comes to town. And finally, Percy gets the wrong end, wrong end of the stick, as usual, and then makes a big mistake, as usual. Now, I hand you over to everybody's favourite mistake and presenter, Steam Team! Good day, and is this a good day? It's, 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 so, it's so. nearly there. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure it will be complete by the end of the night. Yeah, I'm sure it will too. Now that we've got lights set up for night darts. Night darts, isn't it? That's darts. always it's always the best darts, isn't it? Night darts. What do we say, like darts? Or? Darts, I don't know. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we better crack on. Really, we? <laughs> Starting to ramble already. So, Thomas gets it right, and does he get it right, Calico? Um, that's what the title would have you believe. Mm, but does he? Uh, wow. Well, eventually. Eventually. Mm. But I don't think that's good enough. Well, no, it's not really. Not when you're given a job, you expect to do it first time. I mean, imagine if he was in your uh, garage. Oh no, 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 that wasn't right. Is it? <laughs> if he was in your garage, you wouldn't do it first. You wouldn't do it. Right we wouldn't do it right time. at all. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Is that going to hold? No, probably not. Will he get it out the door? Yeah, probably. That's fine. <laughs> as long as it's off our forecourt, that's fine. Am <laughs> I not responsible for it? <laughs> Bloody mechanics, you're the scum of the earth. Right. But what would you do without us? Well, we'd be a lot better off. <laughs> Financially speaking. But w yeah, but would you with your cars? Mm, probably not. Mm, we'd just go and buy another one. Fair enough. But who would they're you... quite cheap, aren't they? Yes. Okay. Well, they can be if you buy a cheap second album one. Yeah, which probably lasts you about six months. Six months is six months, Gallagher. <laughs> no mechanic bill, though. <laughs> True. <laughs> you know what? You who would you buy that car off of? Just a, a person. You've got to get the ad trader, you know, you go through that and you think, oh, that's a nice car. Okay. <laughs> got you, didn't it? Yes, it did. <laughs> um, <laughs> Which of the following is not something said to be caused by the storm? Fences had blown over, telegraph poles had been blown down, tiles had been blown off the station roofs, or a uh, branches had fallen onto the line. It was one of them fences? Yeah. Yeah, that's the that's the that's, that's the odd one out. That's the odd one. Out. It is. Yes, it is. I suppose I expect fences did blow over, but it wasn't mentioned. It wasn't mentioned. Obviously, it wasn't a big thing. No, no, that that isn't considered a major event on Sodom. No. No. Oh, the fences are blo it happens so every what? day. So <laughs> what? <laughs> Just get gem down here and put it back up. For <laughs> then, then I suppose tiles blow off roofs quite often. Mm. I've never had a tile blown off the roof. We did. We landed out here. Oh yeah, 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 but it didn't really blow off. That was just where they done a haphazard job. <laughs> and that's what we get in England through the. Uh, Council. Council. That wasn't the wind. It was quite a fair day, I remember. Yeah. It was just that they hadn't fitted the tile properly <laughs> to start with. Yeah. And it landed right near It's us. not just on soda where slapdash builders and yeah. whatnot happen. It's just, it's just, just real life, isn't it? It's really? just based on England, really. <laughs> Which engine goes to Knapford Yards to pick up workmen? Gordon, Toby, James or Thomas? Uh, it was James. It was James. Was he the right engine to pick up workmen from that well, yard? Well, is it classed as mixed traffic? Well, it all depends whether the workmen are male or female. <laughs> if it's a mixture of the two, it's mixed traffic, I'd say. Or whether it's a bloke dressed in drag. But, that, the, that's but, the, but the way they've said workmen... Yeah, very, very uh, sexist people. I'm uh, so that'd be, uh, it wouldn't be mixed traffic, would it? It'd be... Like I said, there might be one in drag. You know, you got to allow for these things. Yeah. There's still not a woman, though, is it? <laughs> Technically, no. No matter how much you dress up and put makeup on, and change doesn't, your make, name. doesn't make you a woman. No, it doesn't. No. How many boxes of eggs are unloaded at Maithwaite? One, two, three, or four? 
for? And what are they used for, Calico? What, a Maithwaite? Yeah. What did they say he was unloaded for? I don't know. For the village store. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh. We've got a village store. We have. Yeah. But it's been... Well, it but was But it's a... crap. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're chancing it if you go in there looking for a loaf of bread. <laughs> Are they going to have it? I don't know. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> no. Go and ask them to look out the back. It takes them an hour to come back. How many journeys has Toby made when Thomas meets up with him? One, two, three, or four? Um, he says two. Was he exaggerating? No, probably not. No, probably but not. the fact that Thomas goes, even Toby had made two trips. <laughs> Thomas is feeling really upset now, as if Toby doesn't do more than two trips a day. <laughs> yeah. God, I'm even doing less than Toby. He's like, he's like the scum of the rail. <laughs> he's, like, he's the fat old one. <laughs> yeah. he's, the one he's the one that gets bullied. Yeah. <laughs> I'm doing worse than the one that gets bullied. <laughs> you know, that's the time to give up. <laughs> What did the fat controller make with the eggs given to him by Farmer McCall? Boiled eggs, scrambled eggs, omelette, or poached eggs? What anybody would do with Throw broken them eggs. Passengers. Possibly. <laughs> <laughs> it's not what's mentioned, but he you makes up a little it, game. You see, like old people, old women, like ten points, and he, <laughs> he shits fat on, people. He are sits like, on top of the roof. Yeah. At, at, Natford. At Natford. Yeah. And he's got like a little hole he chucks him through. Ten points. <laughs> he's, he's got a little pad there, so he's yeah. t- totaling this and all. Ah, it's a good record from yesterday. <laughs> I beat my score. <laughs> uh, but no, they, he, what he's said, yeah. he do, he makes scrambled eggs. He does. With would, broken eggs. Would you? Yeah, with lots of egg shells in it. Ugh. And straw. But then he's fat. He'll so, eat anything. Yeah, exactly. And they've been falling on the dirty floor inside the cattle truck why do they why do they transport eggs in cattle trucks actually it's not a cattle truck is it? it's just a closed van the cattle trucks have like uh, gaps in them don't they oh what like his office that time yeah, <laughs> yeah that's a cattle truck yeah but even so a closed van you don't know what's been on that floor mm. fat controls probably been sat probably, down you would, there. probably you probably would put them in a refrigerated van wouldn't you eggs. i don't know people say you're not meant to put eggs in the fridge why don't know but uh, people do say you're not meant to put eggs in the fridge i always do but uh, I used, I always do. But I don't think it does any harm if they stay out as long as it isn't too hot. So. Yeah. You can do it, Toby! Can he do it, Calico? Uh, he managed to. Eventually. Uh, God knows how. No, I don't know either. Very unrealistic, if you ask me. Well, no one did ask you, but thanks for sharing anyway. <laughs> <laughs> you know me. I like to put my point across. Yeah, you like to put your two pennies in, doesn't you? I do, yes. <laughs> That's not a dirty mind. So. Uh, euphemism. Is it not? No. I had to put your two pennies in. Toby is at which station in the first shot of the episode? Myth, wait, Wellsworth, Marron or Dryor? Dryor. It was Dryor. Which yeah. is an anagram of Audrey. You've said this before. I know, I like to keep pointing that out. Yeah. It's the only Thomas fact that I like. <laughs> the fact controller tells uh, Toby that Edward is needed where? <laughs> The shunting yard, the fitter's yard, the docks or the quarry? The docks for some strange reason. No, I don't, I don't expect the fat controller knows either. <laughs> no, you just send them wherever he yeah. feels like it. It's what you go to the docks. <laughs> Why? Don't you argue to me. <laughs> I've sent Salty to the farm, so i got to send you to the docks now. <laughs> but I'm closer to the farm. Don't argue, I said. <laughs> go! <laughs> yeah, but that's where I want to stay. I want to stay home doing what I do in my yard. <laughs> no. <laughs> Not allowed. <laughs> just don't, just don't, Edward George. I like you. <laughs> just don't ruin that. <laughs> I like it to stay that way. <laughs> don't ruin it. Who is the first character to say the line, You can do it, Toby. Thomas, Toby, Edward, or Gordon? Who else? But Who Thomas. Who else but Thomas? Yeah. Um, for some reason, he's hanging around there. <laughs> <laughs> just hanging around you just like, that Wellsworth in a yard just just sort of casually sat there you can do it Toby what are you even Thomas, doing here what are you even doing here I've got nothing else to do in actually, this room. actually <laughs> Calico it'd be what are you even doing here <laughs> yeah for some strange reason <laughs> my reply would have been why are you doing Percy's voice I'm trying to do voice acting am I any good <laughs> yeah quite good actually but, but most recording booths can't accommodate a, a locomotive <laughs> yeah yeah, but yeah, Thomas is there yeah. for some reason. Well, no other reason than just to help the story along, really. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And you got a branch line to run, Thomas? Yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> well, shouldn't you be running it? Yeah, probably. Yeah, probably, but I'm but... more important sat here. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah, I feel a bit more important just say. Who's, who's going to see me if I'm on my branch? Like? <laughs> <laughs> I'll go where the cameras are. <laughs> I just follow them round. <laughs> I haven't been on my branch line for quite some time. The whole <laughs> series so far. <laughs> I don't know where Annie and Clara are. <laughs> I had them earlier, but <laughs> I do like to take them out every now and again. But you know, don't really care to be honest. As long as I'm following the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Publicity. That's what I go for. The more I'm on camera, the more money I make. <laughs> Which engine does Toby shunt slate trucks for? Thomas, Henry, Donald or Douglas? Donald. Yeah, isn't it nice for Donald to get a little mention there? And Douglas does too. And Yes, he does. Pity they wasn't seen. Mm. They were meant to be in the episode Edward the Great, but they got cut. Okay. Yeah, I, mean, I bet that was their reaction when they heard. <laughs> <laughs> You've been cut. Okay. <laughs> I Why needed I... that money. <laughs> Why would I do that for? <laughs> I needed that money. <laughs> we'll give you the money anyway. Well, okay. Damn right you will. <laughs> Toby is said to feel tired and what after pushing Gordon up the hill? Relieved, <laughs> triumphant, proud or pleased? Uh, it's actually very, very proud. Is he very proud? Apparently so. According to the narrator, anyway. Tired and triumphant would have been better. Yeah, but that's alliteration and let's not go down that route. That's about <laughs> the only time they don't know it, right? Yeah, that's true. Percy and the magic carpet. Was it a magic carpet? It did give the illusion that it was. Illusion. But illusions then carpet. there has been a windy day on Sodor. So. Oh, you were visiting, were you? <laughs> <laughs> it's probably the uh, aftermath of uh, the Fat Controller's scrambled eggs. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody pays the price, any of <laughs> Scrambled eggs always gets him. <laughs> <laughs> Was that you? Uh, I don't know. I'm... <laughs> <laughs> Probably. I'm a scrambled egg. <laughs> and I thought he doesn't even know. <laughs> <laughs> Just takes no notice as he was. <laughs> was that you? Probably. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I didn't feel anything, but she's a good judge. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a scrambled egg. So you know, I'm a <laughs> Oh, God. I've got awful farts after scrambled eggs. <laughs> I'm known for it. I'm in the Guinness Book of Records. <laughs> Most gas admitted after a scrambled egg. <laughs> how many eggs do you have in your scrambled eggs? I don't know about a dozen. <laughs> do you know how many did Farm McCall break? This is the way someone goes to him. Is that you? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> <laughs> not a Charlie Shaw. <laughs> just walking down the platform casually, not really doing nothing. Just <laughs> a long leaf of one behind him, you know. <laughs> And everybody's faces just kind of screw up and go, oh. <laughs> He just doesn't know. <laughs> but anyway, what's happening on Sodor? Where is the fat controller when his hat blows off? <laughs> <laughs> Coincidentally. <laughs> his, ha- his hat's... Oh, I'm sure, his, sure. Where's his, my hat? <laughs> his hat's now farting. <laughs> A. Maithwaite, B. Marin, C. Wellsworth or D. Calsthorpe? Mayfwaite. He's now tooting at Mayfwaite. No, he's not. Yes, he is. He's at Marin. Yes, he is. No, he isn't. Yes, he is. He hasn't. Yes, he is. <laughs> Don't like it with me. Because you said it looked like moron. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Shamage. <laughs> Shamage. His <laughs> hat just blows off where he lets some, let some go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn it. <coughs> oh, it's actually like 50 quid. <laughs> and now that one's changing. <laughs> I don't want it back even if someone finds it. No. <laughs> <laughs> Just keep it if he wants it. Keep it as a little memento. <laughs> oh, I've got the uh, fat controller's bowler hat that smells like fat. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Something I want to hold on to for a while. <laughs> That's what to treasure that is. Oh, Why is Alicia Botti coming to Sodor? To open a new, uh, to open a new supermarket, to end her world tour, to have tea with the fat controller, or to open a flower show? To end her career. <laughs> <laughs> to end her career. Yeah, I come back. I come back to Sodor. That's <laughs> where I started. Why is Why is it going Welsh? That was that was meant to be Italian. Yeah, but it went Welsh at the end. That's where I started. <laughs> Shut up, Calico. Um, 
she comes back to open the uh, the uh, the the flower show. And is it a nice flower show? Are you partial to a flower show? I do like a flower show. Really? Yeah. Do you watch the Chelsea flower no. show? No. No. Good. Alan Titchmarsh does my head in. <laughs> he thinks he knows it all, doesn't he? Well, he is a gardener, Calic. Calico. So there's a lot of gardeners on <laughs> there. Does not mean he knows more than everybody else? Which of the following is not a magic phrase as said by Salty? Ocus Pocus. Izzy Wizzy. <laughs> Abracadabra. Or A Presto. <laughs> you had to add that one in, didn't you? What? You had to add it in. What? You know exactly what. And if you, there's people out there that don't know the odd one out and where it's from, you're morons. Just answer the question. It's Charlie. Izzy Wizzy. And where Let's is it get from? busy! <laughs> That's not it, dirty. <laughs> do you reckon that's not it? Do you, think do you reckon that's what do Matthew says when he? Yeah. Do you think we would declare that before yeah. they have intercourse? <laughs> yeah. Well, Matthew probably yeah. does. Is he busy? Let's get busy. <laughs> oh, horrible, horrible. <laughs> what a way to announce it. <laughs> <laughs> His good lady wife there. <laughs> says, Can we have sex? She nods. <laughs> and he just goes, "Is he busy? Let's get busy." And she goes. No, no, you've ruined the moment. No, no, you're sleeping in the spare room. <laughs> <laughs> you idiot. I told you not to bring that sort of stuff to the room, to the bedroom. <laughs> but you have, and you've tainted the room. Uh, and then start. he walks out of the bedroom door. Bye bye, everybody. <laughs> 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 um, <laughs> Matthew. <laughs> Matthew, for Christ's sake, we're going to have to end this show. <laughs> you're becoming intolerable. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Don't yeah. do that, sooty. <laughs> no, my name's Sally. Uh, oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, Sue. Sally. S- Sue. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, so, 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 Sue. No, my, no, no, Sally. Yeah, all right, Sue. Is that Sally? <laughs> Sally. <laughs> Sue. <Sully>. Sweet. <laughs> Little cousin Scabby, too. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be fun for all. <laughs> Matthew, I'm warning you. Just, <laughs> just you wait and see. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to the solicitor tomorrow. <laughs> it's, but it's City and Company. <laughs> right, that's it. <laughs> Is he with <laughs> Let's get busy. <laughs> oh, God, no. Is that right? Is that, do you reckon that's how Matthew would start an orgy? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, just, I'm abused by the fact that he's actually attending an orgy. <laughs> <laughs> There's City and Sweet there as well. <laughs> It was Izzy Wizzy, is the odd one out. Percy delivers the carpet to which station? <laughs> Maithway, Galsthorpe, Dryor, or Peel? <laughs> Peel? Yeah, that, that, is, that is a station that comes into it. Next series, I think. Yeah. So what's the answer? Uh, it was Maithway. It was Maithway. It's a very fine station indeed. Is that the one that he uh, saved from... No, that's Galsthorpe. No. How many men can be seen wearing bowler hats at the flower show? One, two, three, or four? Well, there's only four people at the flower show. <laughs> the two of them were in bowler Very hats. successful. <laughs> <laughs> the one was Elysian Body, one was the Fat Controller, and two were two smartly dressed men in bowler hats. <laughs> I'm still getting paid. <laughs> well, no, we didn't make any money on ticket entry. <laughs> Go! <on! laughs> but you invited me. <laughs> Well, I'm starting to regret it now. <laughs> I thought you were prettier than that. <laughs> it just it... turns out you're fat and loud. <laughs> <laughs> I made a very, very big mistake. <laughs> I should have just got someone that... Should have got Jim to open it. He'd have been damn sight cheaper. <laughs> and he would have been funnier. He's quite good at jokes, I hear. Yes, there was two bowler hats there. Well, obviously it was men underneath them. <laughs> just, just two bowler hats. <laughs> the fan controller's guest of honour. <laughs> and the bowler hats. And... <laughs> I'd like to give a warm welcome to these two bowler hats. <laughs> They've We're... come all the way from a shopping base, which... <laughs> They've come on a train via cows for... I put on a private train for... <laughs> Gordon wasn't very happy, but I told him to do it, or go on. <laughs> do as he's told. <laughs> I'm the boss, he's not him. He's not too big to go over my knee. Thomas in the circus. Are you a fan of circuses? I'm a fan of Calico TV, and that's kind of like a circus. Well, yeah, it is like a circus, isn't it? <laughs> very disorganised. I suppose I'll be the elephant, would I? Yeah. 
<laughs> as you're offering. <laughs> <laughs> well, every circus needs an elephant. <laughs> <laughs> this is very true. <laughs> And I'll be the guy that wears the top hat with the marching stick. Yeah, with the little beat, the little moustache. Yeah. yeah. Not going to be a very good circus, is it? Just an elephant and someone just walking around that. in yeah. front of the elephant. Have you ever been to a circus? No. No need for a fight, actually. <laughs> We've not even lived, have we, Callum? No, well, I don't know. Um, if anybody has been to a circus... Um, Please tell us what we're missing out on. There was a circus come to the school once. I didn't go to it. No need to die. Uh, don't really interest me. No. I? I mean, I I do my own circus. <laughs> like we said, we got one here. Exactly. <laughs> so, yeah, if anybody has been to a circus, please inform us of what we have missed out on. Who, out of the following, are not said to be excited at the beginning? Villagers, children, visitors, or the fat controller? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love circuses. You know I like circuses. <laughs> Visitors. Yeah, visitors are not said to be excited. Fat controller gets so excited about everything. He, he gets very excited about the circus. Ah, oh, good, he's a circus. He's oh, look, it's a horsey. <laughs> hey, look, Jam, it's a horsey. <laughs> horsey, it's a, it's a pony. <laughs> it's my little pony. <laughs> and look at that, it's a clown. <laughs> You're a clown, what did you say? <laughs> No, I used no. to be, yes, but now I run a railway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like a clown. <laughs> well, once you've done it once, you know, you can't lose these things like riding a bike. <laughs> you can take the man away from the circus. You can't, you can't take the circus away from the man. That's it. <laughs> and it, I, I always imagine going from a circus to Sodor is is kind of like the same thing. Yeah, it is, yeah. You wouldn't know. You step out the circus tent, you're back in it, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Just a dip, just a massive, just a big circus tent. Yeah, <laughs> just a whole island of a circus. <laughs> Which engine likes the horses? Thomas, Percy, James, or Toby? Percy. Which one has a gambling problem? Is that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Percy's awful for it. Yeah, he is, isn't he? Do you like horses? No, all right. The answer is Percy, by the way. But do you like horses? Yeah. 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 Do you like racing horses or? Um, I don't race them myself. But I do. I do have a. I'll, I'll I do bet have on a, them. I do have a gamble on them every now and then. No. Um, who climbs aboard Annie and Clarabelle at the docks, according to the narrator? And there's no options. Oh. Oh. <laughs> uh, the acrobats and the clowns. The acrobats and the clowns. Yes. yes. They 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 boarded Annie and Clarabelle at the docks. Yes. Well, you write options for that because you couldn't think of any. Yeah, I couldn't think of enough. No. That is not who actually who aboarded, of course, but we asked what the narrator said because obviously the brass band and all the bloody ringmaster and all that uh, did. Yeah, that's <coughs> true. But but we're just going by what the narrator said as the question dictated. Yep, yeah, read the question, it's all there. Thomas is said to toot his whistle in time with which musical instrument? The drum, the trumpet, the trombone, or the tuba? Or the big bass drum? <laughs> the big bass drum. Uh, no, it is the trumpet. It is the trumpet. When the circus performers, it, performers are practising in the field, a clown with three balloons can be seen. What colour are the balloons? And there's no options here either. Uh, red. Red. Orange or amber. Yes, orange um, or amber. Green. And green. You're correct. You're always correct, aren't you? Oh, I like to think I am. <laughs> You've got one question wrong so far, though, haven't you? Yep. So I'm not <coughs> correct all the time. Percy's big mistake. Uh, do you make big mistakes? In your position as man- mechanic? Uh, sometimes. Have you watched the biggest mistake you've ever made? When I let the car go out with no wheels on <laughs> that paper. <laughs> I don't know. I'd rather not say. <laughs> It was, wasn't it? You let the car go out with no wheels. <laughs> he got in it. He's like, why am I not moving? <laughs> just heard. <laughs> Textbook error. That was. <laughs> Who tells Percy that he will have to speak to the fat controller, the quarry master, the harbour master, the station master, or the dock manager? The dock manager. It is the dock manager. And does he have any authority to do that? Probably. <laughs> I'm not interested in anything you have to say, to be honest. <laughs> Weren't you at my flower show? <laughs> what, it, what is the time seen on the clock in Tidmouth Sheds? Six o'clock, seven o'clock, eight o'clock, or Wrong. nine o'clock? 
Seven o'clock, seven o'clock, seven o'clock. So what was that again? Six o'clock, seven o'clock, eight o'clock. Right. <laughs> or nine o'clock. Uh, it was seven o'clock. It was seven of we the rock clock. Around the clock. <laughs> what is the tar needed for? Mending the road, resurfacing the children's playground, building a car park, or making cigarettes? <laughs> I know I have tar in them, but I don't think they're going to just put, like, <laughs> Order tar. three tankers of tar. Yeah, so uh, we get the tobacco, we dip it in there. There you go, it's a cigarette. Have fun, won't you? Uh, no, they use it to mend the roads. They do. Which, best, pl- best thing to do. Yeah, um, shame our uh, government don't understand that. No, that's true. <sighs> Political digs. We <clears> like them. Which two characters can be seen looking for Percy? Edward and Toby, Harold and Bertie, Henry and Salty, or James and Harvey? Uh, that would be James and Harvey. Harvey. Uh, what a pair. The Fat Controller tells Percy he can pull the mail for how long? A week, a fortnight, a month, or a year? A week. Even though it's his job anyway. Yeah. He's just giving his own job back. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, that, so is that all he's going to pull then? Is all he's going to do all yeah. for a week? Just yeah, you just do that for a week. You have an easy week and then next week we're piled it back on again. <laughs> and then they'll be back to late runs and stuff like that. Sound good to you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's alright. <laughs> ah, good. Ah, good. <laughs> that solved the problem for at least a week anyway. <laughs> Off to fire with Jaffa a gig. <laughs> <laughs> Get some Yorkshire tea. <laughs> Calico. Oi. You. What? Do you want to add up your scores? That's your job. Yeah, I know, but I'm just asking. <laughs> yeah, you add up the scores. Okay, okay. You scored 24 out of 25. <gasps> Above your average. That's better than below, isn't it? It's or better than, better below, than average. Yeah, better than being below. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it well, depends on where you look at it, really, doesn't it? Well, it does, yes. You know, <laughs> and, uh... <laughs> so, thank you for watching, as always. And, uh, Leave a comment below. Yes, that's what I was going to say. Yeah. We like comments. Well, we, we we both like comments. We do both like comments. Yeah. Bye bye, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> bye bye from me. I'm from Calico. It's. I'm gonna be scrapped for sure. <laughs> Sounded a bit like Zippy then, didn't it? <laughs> it did, didn't it? it? Trailed into Zippy. Yeah. yeah. Very versatile voice actor, I <laughs> But sir, fine. New quarter. I'm gonna get me sledgehammer. <laughs> Sledgehammer. <laughs> doom, doom. <laughs> Just you call my name. I, I wanna want be. <laughs> doom. You sledgehammer. Doom, doom. doom. <laughs> Want you to be my chest, Jimoni. Sledge. <laughs> Shut up, <laughs> Percy. It's all next. <laughs> it's not your song, is it? <laughs> I'll do um, my own backing vocals. Thank worse you. Worse than Thomas is appearing in a back of things. <laughs> <laughs> Thomas does that a lot and it does my head in. <laughs> I drew my own back in for, of course, you know that. <laughs> <laughs> Sledgehammer. <laughs> Sledge. <laughs> Sledgehammer. <laughs> Sledge. James. James, I told you now. I told you. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. <laughs> you both sound like you've got the same voice. <laughs> now stop. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Are we clear on this? <laughs> oh, I'll take the sledgehammer to you in a minute. <laughs> Sle- sledgehammer! James, you're next. I swear to God. <laughs> <laughs> but sir, I'm only doing it singing a song. Which I'm singing. You know I'm singing it. Get your own song. Just looking for me, Jaffers. <laughs> looking for me, Jaffer Cakes. I don't know where I put them. <laughs> But I'm sure they're in somewhere. <coughs> I get on Gordon's Express train <coughs> to look see if they are there. <laughs> oh, wherever put me, Jaffers. I can't find you anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> so now I've got me, Jaffers. I'm as happy them. as can be. <laughs> uh, but uh, I've got to go back to the mainland because I forgot me Yorkshire tea. <laughs> <laughs> You know I can't eat me Jeffers without washing them down with tea. And I won't drink any of that Nescafe crap because I like Yorkshire tea.